Hi there, it is time to begin our module nine review. Make sure you have a whiteboard numbered one through 10 or your journal numbered one through 10. Make sure you're in an area where you can focus and concentrate on this video. If you need time to prepare yourself, go ahead and pause the video, but we're going to start if you're ready. The first story is called Ron and Tron. Ron and Tron live far away from each other. They write to keep in touch. Here's a little letter. Hi Tron, last week I was digging deep under the sea on my planet. I found red and green gems. They glow and sparkle. You like to dig for gems too, so come visit me, your friend Ron. Hi Ron, here's, an le here's another letter. Hi Ron, you are right. I do like to dig and explore, but do you want to come visit me first? We can help each other look for gems in the deep, dark caves on my planet. Your pal, Tron. Right here. Ron went to Tron's planet. They looked in the caves, no gems, but they found lots of bats and had a good time anyways. All right, now it's time for Ron and Tron's questions. So if you need to hear that story again, just go back a little bit in the video and listen again. Ron and Tron questions. So for these next 10 questions, I will um, read them to you twice, give you a chance to answer. Remember, A is one finger, B is two fingers, C is three fingers. Number one, when did Ron dig deep under the sea? A, last week. B, nighttime. C, January. Number one, when did Ron dig deep under the sea? A, last week. B, nighttime. C, January. Go ahead. All right, what do you have? Show me with your fingers. Should be A last week. When did Ron dig deep under the sea? When? Remember, setting is when and where. When did he do this? Was it at nighttime? Was it in the month of January? Or was it last week? Let's go back. Hi, Tron. So you have to really be listening whenever I'm reading these stories. Last week, I was digging under the sea on my planet. So when, when did Ron dig deep under the sea? A, last week. So remember, when and where is setting. When did, when did that happen last week? Okay, question two. What type of story is Ron and Tron? There's only two choices. A, fiction, or B, nonfiction. Number two. What type of story is Ron and Tron? A, fiction, or B, nonfiction? All right, what do you have? You should have A, fiction. We've been learning about fiction stories, fictional stories. Remember, fictional stories are fake. Is the story Ron and Tron a real story? No, it is fake. It is made up. So that's why your um, choice A is correct, fiction. Number three, what happened at the end of the story? A, they went to the movies together. B, Ron went to Tron's planet to visit him. Or C, Ron and Tron stopped being friends. Number three, what happened at the end of the story? A, they went to the movies together. B, Ron went to Tron's planet to visit him. Or C, Ron and Tron stopped being friends. All right, if you need more time, just pause the video. But what do you have? You should have B. Ron went to Tron's planet to visit him, remember? Ron went to Tron's planet. It says it at the very end. So number three is B. Number four, who was not a character in this story? So they're not a character in the story. You did not hear their name, they're not mentioned. A, Ron, B, Tron, or C, Peter Rabbit. Number four, who was not a character in the story? A, Ron, B, Tron, or C, Peter Rabbit.
All right, what do you have? You should have C, Peter Rabbit. Peter Rabbit was not a character in this story, was he? No, we don't even mention him. Ron and Tron are characters in the story. The title's even, even named after them, Ron and Tron. So, C, Peter Rabbit was not a character in the story because Ron and Tron were. Number, number five, where was part of the story taking place? A, by a lake. B, Tron's planet. Or C, on a mountain. Number five, where was part of this story taking place? A, by a lake. B, Tron's planet, or C, on a mountain. All right, a few more times, just pause the video, but what do you have? B, Tron's planet. Does this story ever mention um, a lake? No. On a mountain? No. Does it mention um, whenever Tron is talking about his planet and Ron goes and visits him? Yeah, so that is um, so that is the correct answer, Tron's planet, because this is where. Setting is when and where. So where was some of the story taking place? Tron's planet. All right, now we are on to our poem. Remember, we focused on poetry the last uh, couple of weeks, so here's a poem that we're going to read and then talk about and review and ask questions. Bananas. I love bananas. Yes, I do. I wish my mommy would give me two. I love bananas that are yellow. They help me to be mellow. I love bananas. Yes, it's true. If I don't get any, I am blue. Bananas, balloons, and butterflies are beautiful. I love bananas. Yes, I do. So this is just a cute little poem about bananas. It's just a fun, silly little poem. Banana questions. Number six, what were the rhyming words in this poem? Remember, rhyming words end in the same sound. A, true, blue. B, banana, balloons. C, wish, me. Number six, what were the rhyming words in this poem? Was it A, true, blue, B, banana, balloons, C, wish, me. All right, what do you have? You should have A, true, blue. True and blue end in the same sound. Ooh. True. True. Ooh. 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 Banana. Balloons. Do those rhyme? Do they end in the same sound? No. Wish. Me. Do those end in the same sound? No. So that makes A, true blue, the correct answer because they do rhyme. They both end in the same sound. Number seven. Which line slash sentence was repeated in this poem? A yellow bananas. B. I love bananas. Yes, I do. C. Bananas, balloons, and butterflies are beautiful. Number seven. Which sentence, which line slash sentence was repeated in this poem? A. Yellow bananas. B. I love bananas. Yes, I do. Or C. Bananas, balloons, and butterflies are beautiful. Go ahead and go back to the poem. All right, if you need more time, pause the video. What do you have? You should have B. I love bananas. Yes, I do. That sentence was repeated more than once. Right here. I love bananas. Yes, I do. I love bananas. Yes, I do. Does yellow bananas repeat? No, we don't have um, a line or sentence that just says yellow bananas. We have bananas that are yellow. But that's it. We don't have yellow bananas, so choice A, sorry, choice A is not a good answer. Bananas, balloons, and butterflies are beautiful. That line is only repeated, is only said once. But right here, 
I love bananas. Yes, I do. I said once in the beginning. I love bananas. Yes, I do is repeated again at the very end. So choice B, I love bananas. Yes, I do is repeated. Question eight. What word rhymes with yellow? Say that word to yourself. Yellow. Is it A, mellow, B, bananas, or C, two? Number eight. What word rhymes with yellow? Say yellow. Good job. Is it A, mellow, B, bananas, or C, two? All right, what do you have? If you have A, mellow, you're correct. Mellow, yellow. Do they both end in the same sound? Yes, they're rhyming words. They both end in L-O, okay? So A. Number nine, let me move myself out of the way. The sentence below is an example of which element of poetry? So this is a sentence. Bananas, balloons, and butterflies are beautiful. Bananas, balloons, and butterflies are beautiful. Is a sentence A, alliteration, B, rhyme, or C, repetition? Number nine, the sentence below is an example of which element of poetry? Bananas, balloons, and butterflies are beautiful. A, alliteration, B, rhyme, or C, repetition? Okay, what do you have? A, alliteration. Oops. A, alliteration is the correct answer. What letter are we focusing on? We're focusing on the letter B. Look, bananas start with a B. Balloons start with a B. Butterflies start with a B. Beautiful starts with a B. Right? Alliterations, whenever you have two or more words nearby each other that start with the same letter or have the same sound. So that's alliteration. And does bananas, balloons, butterflies, beautiful, all start with the same letter, have the same sound? Yes. Rhyme. Do you have any words that rhyme in the sentence? No. Does the sentence repeat? No. It doesn't repeat. You don't have any repeating words. But you do have words that have the same beginning sound. So it's alliteration. Number 10, which, which letter is being repeated in this alliteration sentence? Remember in the last question we just talked about it, we said this sentence is an example of alliteration. Okay, bananas, balloons, and butterflies are beautiful. A, are we focusing on the letter R? See, we're, fo we're focusing on right here, the letter, the letters. Don't worry about this. Is it A, a letter R, B, letter B, or C, letter M. Which letter is being repeated at the beginning of each word? So number 10, which letter is being repeated in this alliteration sentence? Bananas, balloons, and butterflies are beautiful. Letter R, letter B, letter B, or letter M? All right, what do you have? Letter B, that is the correct answer. Let's go ahead and highlight this. So remember alliteration, we just talked about in the last question, is whenever you have two or more words that are close by that start with the same letter or have the same letter, um, have the same sound. So right here, we are focusing on the letter B, okay? Letter B. All right, if you need to hear any of these stories over again or listen to any questions again, go ahead and go to that part of the video and listen again.